This is Graham Grinner on all channels. Hey there, Wastelanders. Fucking quit on me now! News of violent attack catch you all in the As the Phoenix rises from the ashes. Welcome to the Wastes. Good morning, Wastelanders. This is Grim Grinner broadcasting on behalf of the network via the newly installed relay at the Roasted Road. It should be on all channels, but my signal may not be the strongest. Come on, just one second. Test. Test. Okay, that seems better. CJ and I pulled into the Roasted Road late last night and woke up nice and early to sample some of the fresh new roast Larry's been prepping for the last few weeks. And if you get a chance to get out here, it is fantastic. Definitely the pick-me-up I needed after the trek here. <sighs> the creeps have been out in full force ever since I issued my threat to them, but not many squads usually make it this far from the walls anymore. That being said, it does happen on occasion. We had to pull some quick maneuvers to avoid them, but we were able to lure them within range of the gates here, and the guards helped us turn those bastards into nothing but ash. Now, you're probably wondering what we're doing here when the heat's on like this. Well, in the early hours of the morning yesterday, I received an encoded transmission from an old contact in the southern deserts, Mayor Connors. He claimed to have word from the Wanderer about the location of a bunker of sorts up in our region of the Wastes. Why they didn't contact us directly, I don't know. But maybe it's so that they can keep anyone who would be listening off their trail. At any rate, Mayor Connors had encoded the coordinates into the message and had me swear to keep its location as much of a secret as possible. Word is this bunker is pretty well hidden and reasonably secure enough that in the case of an emergency, it could become a sturdy fortress. He also made sure to relay a message about the former tenants of this bunker being dispatched and the storerooms being replenished to a degree. Seriously, I'm really wondering who the hell the Wanderer is at this point that they can do something like that. Also, the fact that someone like this would do something for us is a generosity I wouldn't have expected. At any rate, we're heading in that direction after stocking up on some more coffee here and picking up the small shipment to pass off to a courier heading for Ausund. It is certainly refreshing to see that Balasar has been able to recruit more couriers to the Phoenix Express. Almost makes me miss it some days, eh, CJ? Speaking of which, last time I talked to Balasar, he was asking about his favorite raven. Told him we'd try and make a trip out to him sometime to catch up. Yeah. Anyways, we'll be radio silent until we get to this bunker. Can't leave too much of a traceable signal if we want to keep this place a secret. Grim Grunner signing off for now. some tech with Mender to make some upgrades on another trip out here, which I fully intend to do. As for the bunker itself, Mayor Connors and the Wanderer certainly undersold this place. It's much more than your standard fallout shelter. It's a full compound vault, with more space than I could possibly use. There's a generator room housing a low radiation nuclear generator that I really hope won't take too much maintenance decent water filtration system, as well as plenty of food and equipment storage. Glanced over a floor plan and pretty sure I spotted like a gym, some recreational spaces, even a small classroom as well. Of course, we all know the first room I set up in was their broadcast room. Like I said, 
the attack is fairly dated, but for now it's holding up. We intend on spending a few days here and then doing a sweep to clear out anything that may be a risk or left behind from the raiders. Then it's a matter of getting whatever we need back at Burblack to make some upgrades and tweak some things to really make this a kind of home away from home. For security reasons, we'll still be keeping this place as secret as possible. A vault like this can easily become a hub of devastation in the hands of the wrong groups, particularly the corporations. We'll likely vet a few select individuals to know about it and maybe even set up rooms as their own in case they need it. But that's going to take a lot to earn that level of trust. Oh, and we'll be making a name change for the place too. One of the documents listed as Bunker VT-99, which just feels way too sterile. I don't know, I'm sure we'll come up with something. For now, we're going to get started on offloading some of the equipment and supplies we can spare from the Maple, and get on making a sweep before nightfall, maybe explore some more of the other rooms. This has been Grim Grinner, on all available channels. See you in the wastes. Hey, no, I was going to take that room. Welcome to The Waste is a Wasteland podcast brought to you by Edward Grimm Grinner Hutchinson. Feel free to follow me on all social media and make sure to subscribe so you can hear new episodes as they release. If you like what I do here and want to support the podcast by getting some cool merch, check out my Etsy store. For more information and all the links, check out linktree.com slash welcome to the wastes. Thanks for listening.